This one's on a different wavelength. My friends asked me to be a sperm donor and I have no idea what to do. Like the title says, my friends have decided to become parents and asked me if I would be willing to be a sperm donor. They told me that my involvement was up to me. Ideally, I would be around for the kid in some capacity, especially if the child had questions, but they made clear those boundaries are up to me. I have no concerns about their ability to raise children since they already raised two and their dedication to being parents is absolute. I also have no concerns about any legal issues. We have a solid relationship and they are in significantly better financial shape than I am. They are ready. I'm 33 and have been single for about four years now. I had a near-death experience on my 33rd birthday and partially as a result of that, I am in the midst of some very big positive life changes that are really overdue. My last relationship ended badly, and since then, I have had a lot of trouble forming romantic attachments. My ex was vehemently opposed to having kids, so I decided back then that having kids wasn't going to be a part of my life. I have a lot of trouble imagining a future for myself where having kids happens right now as a result. I've thought about how being a sperm donor might affect my future relationships, and I think anyone who would hold a thing like that against me is someone I probably wouldn't want to be with anyway. I'm of two minds. One part of me has zero qualms and is leaning towards saying yes. The other part of me is worried about all the unknowns. How will I feel? How will it be like when the kid is old enough to ask these sorts of questions? When it comes down to it, they're having a child regardless. This is a huge compliment and a huge honor. I have some more questions for them that I've been writing down, but I know I can't think of everything. What sorts of questions are important in this situation? Am I overthinking this? Considering they told me the boundaries were up to me. I've been very scattered processing all of this and trying to think about what each future looks like um okay well I feel like you're in like a best case scenario situation like I thought you were gonna say something that was weird about the couple or your friendship with them but it sounds like your dilemma is simply a personal one I guess yeah I would do it yeah I feel like he kind of like through this explanation answered his own question and it kind of just sounds like he's looking for validation but his mind is already kind of made up is what I was getting you mentioned all of the green flags in the situation and how the boundaries are up to you they're a great couple you have no qualms like I feel like you answered your own query (laughs) I think this is an interesting question my friends and I were talking about this recently would you feel comfortable donating your eggs or your sperm to a friend like someone that you're gonna see all the time this situation seems more healthy the parents are saying that the boundaries are up to the donor about how much he wants to be in their life I feel like selling your eggs was always something that people said in high school and college they'd be like oh just sell your eggs for money it's like well it's not that simple people were saying that in high school and college (laughs) People didn't say that to you? No. Oh my God. I remember exactly who it was and what classroom it was in. In high school, a girl in my grade said that. She's like, yeah, I'm going to sell my eggs and you can get $30,000 and I'm going to pay for college with it. And I was like, did she do it? I don't know. (laughs) Probably not. Yeah. I was like, that's genius. Yeah. And I looked into it and I was like, oh, (laughs) it's not that simple. Well, yeah. (laughs) That's true. I guess I'm not like considering how once the kid is born and grows up, like you may grow attached to them. Yeah. And start to kind of wish things were different, especially now that I'm thinking about this a little bit more deeply. He had a prior relationship who didn't want kids. Yeah. So as part of you hoping that you're going to replicate like a father, son or daughter relationship with this kid, but you have to remember it's not yours. Exactly. I feel like that's the hard part because what if you want to keep it? And obviously legally you can't. It's not yours, but Mm -hmm. that would fuck you up, I think. And then it would ruin the friendship and like you think things are going to be fine now with this couple and your friendship with them but that's a very real possibility and it happens all the time and what if once you see this kid and you know it came partially from you you have opinions on how you think they should raise the child Mm. and you have no right to give an opinion yeah that's so hard that's really hard especially knowing the it all goes back to the fact that you are very close to this couple it's not like you donate and that's done you never have to see them talk to them like they're going to be part of your life the kid and the couple it's interesting because if you were a sperm donor or an egg donor just at a random sperm bank they would just take your stuff and leave and it's possible it would never even get used Mm. I'm pretty sure. Do you still get paid? Yeah. Because I think that they have it in the bank. And then if you want to go to the bank, they'll show you the qualities of each person that it came from. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So they'll show you the medical history of the person that donated the sperm or the egg. 
that kind of thing. And their eye color, their hair color, height. Yeah. It's like shopping for kids. I know. Maybe it's possible that you don't have to do that, but you can. Yeah. I would have to do, like, I don't know too much about this, I feel like, in yeah. general. But, like, this reminds me very, very loosely of Teen Mom season <laughs> one or two. Did you watch Teen Mom? I don't know. I don't think the so. The couple that had the open adoption and it was an issue because the mom wanted to see the kid. Yeah. Like there there were just a lot of issues there. And it's obviously different, but like it's in the similar arena. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like you could think I just want to see this kid from a distance. They'll only know what they want to know as they get older, but you could very much feel differently once the child is here. What if you resent your friends forever? And then if you said, you know, you, you've decided you're not having your own kids. I don't know. I feel like it's like hitting a little too close to home for you. Yeah. And I would make a pros and cons list. Yeah. Like I'd also take it to- old school. Yeah. <laughs> I'd also talk to a therapist before making any decisions. I'm like, write down pros and cons. No, I think you should. But But yeah, therapy too. I just think it's interesting because I think it would be very easy for many people to think, would I donate my sperm or my egg to my friend? Of course. Like, that would be awesome. But then think about what it actually entails. It's so much more complicated. Yeah, it sounds complicated. I don't think I would now that I... I I wouldn't. Now that I've learned more about and thought about what life would be like. I don't know. I think I'm just a little bit too selfish. I don't know. I'm I'm too like emotional. Yeah. Too. Like I'm just a very emotional person. Yeah. I just wouldn't be able to handle like, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't. I wonder if it's different for guys. Okay, I think this is going to be a poll that we'll do on the Instagram story. Yes. So vote on that on the poll, but please think deeply about it before you vote. Yeah. Imagine having to watch the child be raised by your friend. And What if your friend does something where you're like, oh, don't do that to my kid. It's It's not yours. What if your friends decide, I mean, they said that boundaries are up to you, but what if they change their mind when the kid is born and they're like, we don't want him or her to know. And then what are you going to do like you're always going to go through life knowing you're technically the father of this child right I just I would have a hard time like not resenting that person yeah totally it's gonna be a no for me yeah I I lean no that was interesting yeah